Welcome viewers, this is the last episode that I am recording tonight, so if you've been wondering when I'm going to start doing the things you've been commenting, or anything like that, it will be in the next episode, because these videos would have been uploaded, I would have read your comments, and I can begin doing the things that you have requested or suggested, and things I've agreed are awesome ideas. You guys always do seem to have quite a lot of them. Now what I am going to do here is first of all just check the frequencies, one, one, and ten. Okay, I can remember that. I can do that. Probably not. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Okay, ten. Ten, 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 okay. There we go. I can do this. Oh, wait a second, what are you set up for? That's a problem. That is a problem. I'll be back. Just a flying second. Hey, let me through the door. Okay. All I need from you... Du -du 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 -du. 64 dirt. And I'd also like... 64 seeds. Alright, this is going to take a little bit of time, isn't it? Get back to you viewers in a moment. Okay, here we are once again. I can now pretty much just destroy the... Oh, there was dirt and seeds in there anyway. Of course. Ah, ridiculous stream of. Now all I'm doing, basically, is moving this over four blocks, which, amazingly, is the perfect amount. The quarries will not hit them as long as it's four blocks over. I couldn't believe how perfect that is because there is only four blocks of space here. Now, perhaps I should move it over five. That way... Uh, that way I can still have the farm fenced off. Yeah, okay, I, I will actually do that. That probably makes a little bit more sense. So I'll just set it up like so. Nothing too serious. Ten. That's not correct at all, is it? <laughs> of course not. Of course. Destroy. Destroy. Come back. Come on, I'm using my axe power. Come on. No. Thank you. I've forgotten the design already, haven't I? Joy. No, no I haven't. But I am forgetting all- I just stop forgetting things. Okay. I'll just set this farm up and get back to you viewers in just a moment. There we go. Reset up. Everything's good now. The combine should take everything out. This should rebuild everything. With the dirt and seeds it's got, and the dirt and seeds that will be supplied over time. Partial request, yes, thank you. Frequency 10, can receive true. Let's see, I don't see anything building just yet. Hmm, it's taking its time. Oh wait, there we go, that's some destruction which is actually a good sign. So I've moved it over five blocks, four blocks was the perfect amount, so one for safety. Now if I head up to here we can see that this is four blocks, and now I can extend my quarries off in that direction, and then extend my quarries outwards as well. So there we go, we can actually build things now. Now what I'm going to do next is rather simple. I'm going to set up a couple more auto crafting. Just some very simple stuff. Mainly just going to deal with creating gears because that actually does take quite a lot of time to do manually while it really is a necessary process that I have to do quite often. So it is rather frustrating. Also, let's just get rid of all this junk. None of that has to be in my inventory anymore. See, I'm still keeping things nice and sorted. 
But let's see here. I'm going to need my diamonds. Oh, I'm going to need all of them, unfortunately, so I guess I'm going to have to turn some other things into gold and such. I'll take out that and that, and that'll do the trick, I think. I believe there are other gears I can actually make, which I haven't used in the series so far. I'm correct, there is bronze, copper, and tin. That requires stone, nothing too serious. Okay, they all require stone, so I'm just going to have to take out some tin copper, and also some bronze. There we go. And create some gold. Unfortunately, I need all four diamonds here, so perhaps I can just lose some iron. There we go. That'll do the trick perfectly. And now I'll simply head downstairs and set up those auto crafting tables. There we are. Crafting pipes as well. That'll do the trick. Now, while I'm down there, I'll set up the auto-smelting as well. So, let's see. I've still got the crafting pipe, so that's perfect. What I'll need to bring with me is all the ores. Let me see here. I only need one of them, so one silver, one tin, one copper. Where's the rest of the darn things? Oh wait, up there. There we go. Gold. Iron. Is that everything that gets smelted? Couldn't possibly be. Could it? <laughs> oh dear. I'm completely forgetting it would seem. No, I think that might be it. Hmm. I can also set up some different macerators, such as ones to turn cobblestone into sand whenever I need it, or sand into glass, that's important. Okay. I don't think I'll set up the cobblestone to sand just yet. Or, you know what, might as well. I'll also grab sandstone to sand, no, I'll leave that one out. Okay, I believe that is everything that I can do now. There might be more later. There'll definitely be more when I'm setting up extractors and such. But for now, that's going to do the trick. Now, I'm going to request a whole heap of copper piping. I don't think I have the resources just yet to grab anything more powerful than copper. And I'm hoping I have enough for 64 cables. Missing 30 copper. Okay then. How about 32 instead? Really? Really? I really don't have much copper. Okay then. I might want to fix that problem first. So let's just do it the easy way. Just to save us some time. There we go. I'll take that back though. And just chuck the copper away. Shouldn't take long before I can request it successfully. Missing 30, there we go. So that'll give me what I need to actually set everything up. But in the meantime, I will create the actual furnaces and such now. But before that, darn it, I'm always getting ahead of myself. What I want to do is actually create the, the Transformer, which is going to be taking all my excess buildcraft power and turning it into EUs. So I'm not sure what one I'm actually going to need, because I don't know how much excess power I'm ever going to have, but at maximum, when my quarries stop working, that is 10 steam engines that are actually being turned into EUs. So I don't think the low voltage will actually be able to handle that. In fact, 10 steam? That might actually be a high voltage job. That's a little bit worrying because that's incredibly expensive. But, yeah, I really don't have the capacity to make that right now, so I will just make a low voltage one and hope that doesn't explode when my quarries do shut down. 
That's very simple, that's just going to need an iron gear and some other stuff which I'll set up. Refined iron, I've got that. And electric circuit, I do have that. I have one of them, but I can request another. Missing a refined iron, dang it. Well, I thought I could grab another. Let's see. Just chuck that in there. We'll very slowly go to the sorting system. Now I can request it. I hope. Come on, come on. Just have to wait for the actual refined iron to reach the sorting system, that's why it does take that time. Now it's being sent to me. Seeing as it does require an iron gear, I will wait until I have automatic iron gear production up and running. But in the meantime, I can check out the electrical furnace. So let's see here, iron furnace, I, iron furnace -y. I'm trying to come up with a plural of iron furnace. Let's see here, regular furnace, iron furnace, okay. That's rather simple. But the electric furnace requires an electronic circuit and some redstone. Nothing too serious, I'm just going to grab one more then. Oh, why not two? Take your time. We only have an entire audience waiting for you, pipe. Come on, come on. There we go. One more, please. Thank you. Now I can head downstairs and get a whole heap of auto crafting ready. Not auto smelting, not just yet, but very soon that as well. So there's my power station, and here should be the crafting. There we are. Okay. I'll just set down a whole heap of these. Why not? Actually, I'll end it at the door so I do keep a walkway through here. How am I going to connect to the two of them? Hmm, I guess a pathway down the center will suffice. In that case, I'm actually going to get rid of this. Oh, no! Ah, that's the exact thing I said would happen in a later episode. That is exactly what I said would happen. Wow. Well done, Straymav. Well done. I'm going to set these back up and get back to you when that's done. Still can't believe I just did that. And there we go, everything reset up. This axe is far too dangerous. Oh my... Yeah, okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'll set up the next row of auto-crafting. I could make it a wall of auto-crafting, but I will actually expand this upwards, so it will actually be col columns, not just this one-by-one one level. But this is just simpler right now. Actually, no, it's not. Let me just unselect the axe, so I can use a pickaxe on this, so I don't lose everything. Eventually I'll make it double-sided, but the easiest way right now, obviously, would be... Oh, come on, really? Fine, I'll do it the slightly more difficult way, if you insist. There we are. And then I'll just place them like so. Then I don't have to pipe it around and use a whole heap of extra pipes. For now, this is definitely simpler. Oh, I did nearly forget completely. I also have to import... Oh, wait. Wait, it's not set up correctly. There we go. That was not going to work. Because the order changed, I do need to reset the pipes. Okay. Oh, that one's still correct. So is that one, actually. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm just going to teach you how to make... Not wooden planks, that's already done. Needs to know how to make sticks. It also needs to know how to make a furnace. Because I want to save as much iron as I can, 
what I'll be doing is making sure that I can auto craft electric furnaces in the cheaper way. Basically, because it needs an iron furnace, the iron furnace can use iron like so, or it can save two iron by using eight cobble in the furnace. No, it can save three iron actually. So in order to do that, it has to make a furnace, know how to do that. In fact, I'm going to have to grab that. I'm sorry, auto crafting table. There you go. And then I'll use a furnace like so. There you go, now it knows how to make iron furnaces. And now, with the help of an electronic circuit... Oh, dang it. Again. How frustrating. Keep on forgetting that I have to make one more of everything. Because the item has to get passed along to the next one in the series. That's the one drawback of these automated crafting systems. You do have to make one, and then you're not allowed to use it. It just stays in the automatic crafting system. But that's okay. Oh, do I have redstone? It'll be in my bag. There we are. It's a build craft item. Didn't take long before my inventory became a mess. But it's an organized mess, I believe. Okay, iron crafting, I mean iron furnace, two redstone, and then the electronic circuit. Now if I head upstairs, it will actually know how to make electric furnaces from all of its individual parts. It'll make the furnace, it'll make the iron furnace, and then the electric, which is exactly what I was trying to do. So that worked out perfectly. Now going to take some of this wood. More than that, I'm trying to shift, it's not working. Okay then. I need to turn a whole heap of these into sticks. There we go. Now it knows how to make wooden gears. Oh, right, I'm going to have to make a whole heap of these. Keep on forgetting. There we go. I'll just keep the last few. There we are. Now, upgrade that. I'm going to make. I'm going to have to make a lot of these actually. So let's just get rid of all of them. Won't keep any in my inventory. Don't see why I would have to. Then again, I can't be bothered. So let's see. Now I can upgrade these. I'll upgrade one of them to iron. Oh wait, does it know how to make... I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. There we are, now it knows how to make stone gears. And now it can learn how to make iron ones as well. But I'm going to have to make two extra. One for the gold, and one for the diamond. Oh wait, I'm going to have to grab four more gold, aren't I? Dang it. I guess I'll do that later. This will be fine. Move on to the next one, which I actually have to place. Let's see here. Might as well extend this a little bit higher. Lots of auto crafting gonna be doing gonna be going on here. In fact I don't even have enough pipes to set up the auto smelting that I was talking about. Unfortunately, that, I guess, is going to have to wait until I have the materials. But that's alright, just means I have to go on a mining expedition before the next episode. Which I can do rather easily, I believe I have the time. Now let's see, iron gears are done. Let's also teach it how to make copper gears, whatever they're used for. Of course, I could just check. They're used in, oh, the peat engines, right. Those are very important. I will be using them eventually, don't you worry. And moisteners as well, okay. And then also, I'll make the tin. Which I'll also check what that used for. Oh, electrical engines, awesome. Also the apiary that I've never used, and a rainmaker which I will never use. I hate rain in Minecraft. That's why I've actually turned it off. 
uh, drives me insane. Anyway, now I'll teach it how to make I uh, golden gears, my bad. But I need one more golden gear in order to teach it how to make diamond. Ha! Ah, dang it, so close yet so far. But anyway, that is nearly done. It knows how to make its furnaces. I also want it to be able to make its own macerators. You might be wondering why I'm doing this, even though I only need a set amount of macerators. The reason is because of the automated smelting system. I didn't want to make a whole heap of them, and I'll probably need to make more in the future as I get new materials that need to be smelted, and as my auto smelting does expand, I'm going to have to make more, and I don't want to go through the process every time, so it's going to know how to automatically make them. Rather simple reason behind it. Now, to make the macerator it actually needs a machine block, so it is much more complicated. No, not much more. <laughs> Slightly more complicated. And unfortunately, I don't think I have any refined... I do. Perfect. Okay. Refined iron, it now knows how to make machine blocks. But I don't have enough refined iron to make the second one to actually set up the recipe for the macerator, unfortunately. So, so close, but so far. In fact, I'm going to take this out, because that will be the spot for the diamond gear. And then I can move over and put this here. So there we go, the crafting system is underway. This is going to be a very large crafting system later on, that's for sure. But for now it is doing the trick, and it is quite a powerful crafting system so far. It will make things a lot easier for me. Now I can head back inside. What I'm going to have to, of course, need to do is make some more refined iron. Let me see what's floating around in these chests. <clears throat> Sorry about that view, that probably sounds a lot better now. That was getting a little bit much. I am still sick, unfortunately. Let's see here. Iron ingots. Not as much as I would like. But oh well, it'll do the trick. In fact... I'm going to get rid of that diamond. Can't believe I just did that, but okay. And there we go. I can get the four gold I need to make the final recipe on how to make diamond gears. Now, on top of that, let's just head to this furnace here and turn ten of these into refined iron. Uh, sticks you can go away and then you can come back all right now you might have noticed that this isn't sorted I did miss this chest I didn't actually notice it I'll be sorting it soon not right now some of this will go into there some of it will just go into the system but for now this is just churning away nice and slowly this will take a little bit of time in the meantime, what I can do is make sure everything's ready to make the macerators. Not maverators, there we are. Macerator. Okay, electronic circuits. Flint, I better take some flint with me. I believe that should be in my green bag. That's good, I've got some already. This will work out quite nicely got the extra electronic circuit as well. I think I'm actually prepared. Rather surprising. But yes, I believe everything I want to be auto-crafted is auto-craftable now. I would like quarries to be auto-craftable. That really is usually the goal of anyone making an automated build-craft system. Having automated quarries be built is rather awesome, unfortunately. Rather expensive. And if I was to make another quarry, I would want to be using it, not just leave it sitting in a sorting system. So for now, it just is not practical. So I'm going to head back downstairs. I'll take the quick way down. 
Unfortunately, oh no. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, come on, really? Serves me right. It wasn't even the right floor anyway. I should have just taken the long way and not been impatient. Oh well. These things happen. Now, here we are, golden gear. Upgrade this one to gold. And then to diamond. And there we go. All my gears are auto craftable now. Now what I can do is grab this machine block. I could have just automatically crafted this from upstairs. And oh, I'm gonna have to place one more apparently. Luckily I do have one more. Cutting it a bit close here. Now, machine block. Grab my flint. Three of it. Across the top. And I can't remember the rest. Even though I was looking at it for quite some time. Electronic circuit and some cobblestone. Okay. Electronic circuit. There we go. Automatic macerators. Not bad. I will be using the macerator, not the rotary, just because it will be a on-demand system, not a constant one. Same thing as what I was saying yesterday, that because it won't be smelting everything, it simply is not as efficient, just because it won't be on all the time. Now if I had a whole heap of quarries going all the time, and they were just smelting everything that came in, then rotaries and inductions would be much more efficient, absolutely. But in this case it won't. Now before this episode ends I better do a more difficult test of this system. So I've come up with a very simple one. Ah, oh, sorry. Alright, I've come up with a simple one. Very, very simple. All I'll be giving my system is some wood, some cobblestone, and some iron, and then I'll request an iron gear to be made. So we'll see if it can do the multi-step process of turning wood to sticks, sticks to gears, and then upgrading them. So of course, in order to do that, I'm going to need the iron itself. There we go, the four iron. Cobble should be in there, that's for sure. And let's see, I'll just introduce that back into the system. Make sure there's nothing in there already. For instance, I'll just take out all these sticks so it can craft it from scratch. Let's see, is there anything else in here that could be letting the system cheat? I don't think so. Okay, let's see. Craft. Hey, what's going on? Refresh. All my crafting isn't here. Um, that's not what I was hoping for. Definitely not. I better go check what might be wrong. Oh dear. Okay, let's see. Drop down a couple floors. Why would it not be requesting? Oh, of course. I'm sure some of you will be screaming at your screens at the moment. Everything, of course, needs to be imported. My mistake. Why can't I right click? There we go. Anyway, we will do this test before the episode ends. The timer has gone off though. But anyway, it's alright. I'll just do this before heading off. There we are. Everything good now? That's more like it. Now to head... Hey, let me... What's going on with that block on the ceiling? Come on, disappear before my sword breaks. 
There we go. <laughs> Just flying up and mining at the same time. Let you mine things off the roof. Okay. Now we'll give this another shot. Craft. Here we are. So of course I can't craft a diamond gear. We don't have the gold. But an iron one... We'll see if it can do it. Come on, sorting system. I believe in you. There we go. Awesome. So everything else should be working as long as I give it the materials that it needs. Anyway, viewers, I hope you've enjoyed. Strahi Mav signing off.